How's it going, everybody? This is Sam the Psycho, and today we are taking on the brand new Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta event for Dokkan's fourth year anniversary. And before we do start, I do have an apology to make. I went ahead uh, the day the banners came out. What was that? Tuesday morning around 2.30. I went ahead and summoned. Um, I had about 200 stones or something uh, and i just wanted to do the discount multis and i ended up pulling vegeta and goku that day so unfortunately there is no summon video for it however um what i'm probably doing now is putting pictures of some of my pulls over uh this video so you can just check them out if you want to um there were some pretty pretty fire pulls i will have to say that um, I did pull one of each LR, um, uh, and then I also pulled a dupe of Goku and Vegeta as well, so I'm pretty pumped, uh, but I, we are not talking about something today, we are going to go ahead and jump into this event, so, uh, we are starting off with the Vegeta event, please forget what you just saw, uh, this is the brand new difficulty for this event, but I just want to jump in here and let you know uh, what team are we using? We are using a Shadow Dragons team. So, we are going to be using uh, the Shadow Dragons category. The reason being is because the Shadow Dragons category does uh, reduce his damage reduction and uh, does increase damage that he uh, receives. So, if you are having trouble running this event and you can bring Shadow Dragons, I would recommend it. Um, they are very good, especially because of new LRs are on the Shadow Dragon category. Uh, the only problem is Omega Shenron, the category leader, is a physical type, and uh, LR Vegeta is a STR type. So there's a little bit of a challenge there, but we're going to try to mitigate that today using this team. So, like I said, we're going to be using a Shadow Dragon team, so let me go ahead and find a Shadow Dragon leader. Uh, who we can run are these the only ones I got yeah oh well so uh, I was just speed through running with it uh, this is the team I'm gonna be running for shadow dragons uh, we are gonna be using my Omega Shin run as a leader then we have the two brand new LRs as subunits we have a rainbow Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta we have full power Goku and then we have pan here to provide us for support uh, for the items, I just brought my Super Battle Road items. Uh, I was trying uh, to do it earlier today, so I haven't really changed my items. Uh, I don't think I'll need any of these. I hope not, but we'll see. Uh, the only thing that really scares me about this team is if Pan has to take any hits. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video while we're waiting for this level to load. Uh, I do want to remind you all... That if you have not done so yet, it is a great idea to go ahead and uh, press the subscribe button down at the bottom. Uh, we are trying to put out more content, and I really, really hope you're along for the ride for that. Uh, so please, if you haven't already, you can go ahead and hit that. If you uh, have any ideas for any other types of videos you want to see as well, you can go ahead and leave those in the comments as well. I do read each and every comment, uh, and I'm always looking forward uh, to improving, so please just let me know. Uh, whatever you want to see, just, just type somewhere. All right, so we are starting off against the AGL Vegeta. We have both Omegas on rotation, which is not good. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it here. This Gogeta, ever since he came out, has been a really, really, really good card. His ability to dodge or to counter super attacks is amazing. Also, after he does get his super attack off, he does become a good tank as well. So, look, one shot. Now, granted, he is rainbow starred. Uh, but, you know, he is still a very good card on Shadow Dragons. Um, it, he, This is a good team. This honestly is a good team. Shadow Dragons doesn't get enough love. It should. It should. All right. So, uh, this rotation, we have Goku, uh, full power Goku, and LR Vegeta. That is fine. Um... I think I want to eventually get Goku and Vegeta on the same rotation, but the problem is I don't want to lose either of them uh, off rotation. So we're gonna we're gonna play with it, see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully I don't regret this. So 
Uh, we're getting full power Goku super attack to start off. And then we have an 18 key super from Vegeta in the middle. I want to see how much Vegeta can do. Uh, so far out of the two cards, Vegeta is my favorite. Now, granted, I am biased. Vegeta is my favorite character in Dragon Ball. Uh, but, you know, he's still a really, really cool card. Um, so we'll, we'll have we'll have to see how he does uh, against against this fight. Alright, so now we have Goku and Gogeta on the same thing. I'm gonna go ahead and tank with Goku um, just because I want to. We're gonna see how that works. Uh, I did just awaken these cards to LRs. I haven't really used them yet. I've used friend ones when I was uh, doing a run through with the missions. Uh, but I've never used mine, so I'm really curious to see how they do. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright, so we're on the next stage. This is where he starts going into his STR form. Um, this is where it gets a little bit tricky. Remember, if you're running Shadow Dragons uh, for that little gimmicky boost uh, to it, I just want to remind you Omega Shenron is weak against uh, Vegeta. That If he gets hit, he can get hit pretty hard. Uh, we're going to go ahead and just let let this go as it is. I'm not really trying to um, shake many things up. I'm trying not to use items if I don't have to. I, I prefer not to. And I don't really think there's a real need to use any right now. Okay, so it, it, we're fine. We're fine. Uh, I was nervous about Shenron being supered, but since that's not the case, we don't have to worry about that. All right, hit him back. You know, uh, this 18 key super does get a lot of flack. A lot of people say it feels like it wasn't, uh, it was made before other super attacks and stuff. You know, it's not the most amazing super attack I've ever seen in my life. But then again, this is Doka on it. That doesn't really happen that frequently. So it's whatever. You know, I like it. I don't have a huge complaint about it. Uh, so, you know, it's fine. All right, so we're going to go ahead and put Goku here. Um, this one. He's not getting his 18 key super, but I got, got kind of in a bad place with this key. So it's fine. It's all good. Still going to see what he can do uh, with his 12 key. I'm sure, it's still going to do pretty well. Uh, as a reminder, this Goku does have a dupe in him. I actually pulled that Goku off of it. Off of a single summon on a ticket. I don't think I've ever pulled an LR off a single summon. So that was actually really cool and really special uh, for me to do. Alright. So, since we're here, uh, I can already see in the back this is going to be a problem. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Vegeta's uh, acting skill. Let's just watch this. This is really, really cool. Yeah, active skills are really cool. I like this one. Uh, the reason I like it more than the one for the uh, LR Gohan and Goten is because this one I actually get. Um, for those of you who don't know, LR Gohan and Gotens only activates, I think, when your HP is 30% or 70% uh, or lower. On a, a Gohan and Goten team, I never really get to that point. So, you know... It's nice to have active skill you actually see, but I do like uh, having uh, Gohan and Goten and then the Kid Goku having it as well. I'm curious to see what's going to happen to Omega because I completely forgot he's in the back and he's getting hit so much. Um, this this might be bad. I hope not. He should be able to... Sur yeah, he's going to survive. Alright. Yeah, he's good. And we're going to just go ahead and use Goku's active skill to finish this fight off. Uh, we used Vegeta's, we might as well use Goku's. So, uh, these, if you, uh, you can't hear it because of the way how I record on my setup. Um, Macs aren't really good for all this fun stuff. But they are voice acted, and they sound really, really cool. And they're really amazing to watch, and yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, that's a Shadow Dragon team. The nice thing about Shadow Dragons are that all the cards on the category have the GT link and they all share keys so you can always deal with that. Uh, also, 
if you were summoning on this banner and you got one of the uh, SDR Super Saiyan 4 Gokus or the AGL Super Saiyan 4 Vegetas, you know, you can still use them on this category. So, well, not Goku. You can use Vegeta, but not Goku. But there are a lot of cards you can use. Uh, I hope that they, uh, when they release LR Oob, I hope that he's on this category. I don't know. I haven't really looked into that. But, you know, it's an option uh, with plenty of available cards that can help you out. Anyway, guys, uh, that was it for this on how to uh, do this event using a Shadow Dragon team. I do recommend the uh, gimmick there because it does make it easier, as you saw. Uh, using an LR Goku friend would probably one-shot Vegeta, maybe, I don't know. Uh, but you should try that out. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. This has been Sound of the Cycle. I will catch you uh, on the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and leave a like down below. In the comments, you can tell me other types of content you want to see. And if you are new to the channel, please feel free to subscribe. We put out as much Dokkan content, Fighters content, Legends content, basically whatever content we can as often as we can, as soon as we can, and I would love to catch you guys in our next video. Remember, I do have a Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at Sign of the Psycho, where you're able to interact with me and other members of these communities. Uh, I would love to catch you guys there. Anyway, guys, uh, that's going to be it for me. This has been Sign of the Cycle. I will catch you in our next video. Bye, guys. going everybody this is sign the psycho here and I just want to talk to you about my Instagram uh, you're probably seeing pictures right now over my beautiful face about my Instagram uh, my Instagram is a great place for you to go ahead and check out the coolest screenshots uh, from legends Dokkan bleach really any games that I play uh, as well as anything else I think is really cool uh, you should go ahead and check it out it is free you can find me at sign the psycho on instagram and on twitter and i look forward to interacting with you there bye guys